Look. So today, President Bush has clarified his worldview, saying you're either with us or with the terrorists. Or you're with the terrorists, but you have oil. <laughs> or you're with us, but you hate us. Or you're with us, but you fund all the terrorism in the world. <laughs> percent with the terrorists except for one little guy in charge <laughs> or you're with us but you can't really help us <laughs> or you're with the terrorists with each other against us even though you hate each other <laughs> back to you jimmy please welcome Very sexy outfit you've got Thank on there, Miss Fuller. This is my 75th anniversary of NBC dress. I saw you wearing this uh, Sunday night I at the big. I have not taken it off, sir. <laughs> I am That's still disgusting. Celebrating. <laughs> it kind of reeks, actually. It does no. smell bad. I'm still celebrating NBC. I can't, yeah. I can't stop partying. Yeah. That was some, uh, we had the big, to anyone who didn't know, uh, big 75th anniversary of NBC three hour in this show. building, three mm -hmm. hour show. We were yeah. all there. Were there, any, were there any celebrities that you really wanted to meet? Yes, I really was excited to meet uh, Rue McClanahan and Betty White because I love the Golden Girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And they were, they were both very nice. Right. They were everything I wanted them to be. Mm -hmm. And the one person that I really wanted to meet that um, I missed him, I think he was there, was Larry Wilcox from Chips. Do you remember him? Yeah, the, 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 the blonde uh, yeah, the chip. the blonde chip. Yeah, John, it was Eric Officer, Estrada, and then yeah. there was... Uh, Officer John Baker. Right, right. Because um, I was obsessed with him when I was a kid. Uh -huh. He sort of, he, I, he gave me my first stirrings, Mr. Larry Wilcox. I really dug him. This is... <laughs> Wow, something we have in common. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't meet him, because I know, like, I still know that he's, I remember from a kid, like, you would get those magazines with Scott Baio on the cover, but I would flip to the back and find the one picture of Larry Wilcox, and he's like, <laughs> he's 5'11", he was born in Cheyenne, Wyoming, oh. and his birthday is August 8th. Wow. I still remember that. And you still remember that. Yeah, but I didn't see him. Did you get a good seat? Who were you sitting near at this uh, event? Because it was all assigned seating. Yeah, you sat with the Friends cast. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, what they, they said. Say? <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I thought I had a pretty good seat. Had a I was good seat. Yeah. I sat in the back with Mr. T, and um, I think that's. It was great. I think that's uh, a good seat. I yeah. Mean, he he was great. He's so nice and yeah. cool, and um, it was so fun. We were watching him watch the show. We we were watching him. A clip of the A Team came on, and Amy Poehler. She's like, look, look. How often do you get to watch Mr. T watch himself on television? <laughs> right, right. It was like an MC Escher. <laughs> <laughs> Worlds folding in on worlds. Yeah. So what was he? How was he watching himself? Was he? He really... was very pleased with the clip. He he was laughing. He thought it was good. That remind, I mentioned this last week, but a friend of mine saw, went over to Regis's house because he knew someone who, like, Regis's daughter, went over to his house and saw Regis watching himself on Millionaire. Oh, really? And he was like, I'm in the TV! <laughs> I'm over there! And you're like, calm you down, think Regis. You know by now. I'm in there and I'm here! <laughs> uh, I wanted to meet, uh, I grew up uh, watching Get Smart. Oh, and yeah. Don, uh, which I think is one of the funniest shows Brilliant. ever made. Brilliant. And, and I just was a fanatic to meet, uh, Don Adams, Maxwell Smart. Did you I, meet him? Yeah, I cornered him and was I was nice? like, I really liked your show. And okay. then, yeah, security <laughs> led they me away. They pulled you away. Um, so you worked on the 75th. I helped out a little bit. Yeah. Helped out a little bit. Yeah. Uh, was there anybody difficult? Well, the funny thing is, there's like a hundred stars there. And really, the only person who had a lot of demands and needs was Alf. And that is not a lie. It was like this time last week where I was like, Alf's not coming. Someone's got to call the Alf people. Alf needs to, like, he had all these demands. Because you mean that the guy that, that, yeah, works out? Well, yeah. See, okay. that's the thing is, the, the, the guy that works Alf, he doesn't, he doesn't like to ever break the illusion. Uh, he doesn't want anyone to know that Alf is a puppet. So we... <laughs> he doesn't even want the live audience to see him operating the puppet. So we had to, like, talk to him several times on the phone and reassure him and build this whole big thing and the set like a big trap door and all this stuff but I'm gonna tell you right now Alf is a puppet <laughs> <laughs> don't man he's a puppet <laughs> okay he's an alien life form <laughs>
understand, enough talk about the 75th, because okay. God knows that's been discussed to death. Someone told me that you brought a book of poetry. Poetry that means a lot well, to you? Or? Uh, yes, I'm a reader. I like to read. And mm -hmm. um, this is uh, Danielle Steele's poetry. I don't know. She's known. <laughs> Look at this cover it's right great, here. It's great, right? Look at I love the cover here. And there's a great picture of her on the back. She is primarily known as a novelist. She is uh, the best-selling woman novelist in the history of America. Right. Um, as you can see, she's mostly known as the author of Daddy and Message from Nam. Right, right. But she has written this book of, of poems about love, and I, wondered, I wanted to read one to you because um, I have to say what it kind of reminds me of you when I've read it in the past. Oh, let's go. Okay. Also, she does a lot of creative um, layout of the page right. and punctuation, which when you read it a lot, you have to respect that. It's like reading Shakespeare. Sure. You have to respect the so punctuation. So respect the punctuation. Okay. All right, Danielle Steele Poetry. This, this be is good. called The Inside of Your Arm by Danielle Steele. <laughs> you make love to me as though you wore the manual on the inside of your arm. <laughs> you touch, you feel, you reel, you slide along the inside of my thigh, you sigh, you smile, you keep yourself aloof, you arch sharply toward the roof. But there's one tiny tender thing that you, my friend, and it, what? it actually says... It says my friend. It says... M apostrophe friend. It became a country western song for yeah. a second. There's one tiny tender thing that you, my friend, forgot. With all your ravishing, ravaging, macho, sexy, free, you never even kissed me. Aww. Sad, right? This woman. I gotta say, that is me to a T. <laughs> <laughs> this woman had intercourse with someone and he never kissed her. <laughs> never kissed her at all, and that's. Also, yeah. The other thing I like is she does the thing where she, she says macho, sexy, free, which is kind of an interesting, it's the wrong part of speech, it's like an adjective. But she does an exclamation point followed by an ellipsis, wow. which is pretty innovative. That's cool. Poetry. I just like, this is the part where I thought, that's Conan right there. Ravaging, r ravishing, ravaging, ravaging macho, macho, sexy, sexy free. free. I think that's what people think when they see me. Mm -hmm. it is. <laughs> The most that, uptight that. man in the world coming out. Now, uh, before we go, I understand you're you're in an upcoming film, and we should yes. mention this. This yes. is exciting. I'm very excited. I'm in a movie. It's called uh, it's called All About That, and it's me and Selma Blair and Julie Bowen from Ed. Do you know mm -hmm. her? And um, it's a comedy. And uh, Julie Bowen pl uh, plays a guy. We go to a friend's wedding, and she falls in love with a guy at the wedding, but loses track of him. And we spend the rest of the movie tracking him down and um, I play her friend who's like good with computers and we find him through the computer and then you know cool so we have a clip we have a clip here oh, let's yeah. take a look at okay, this okay this is the scene where in this clip all you need to know is like this is where the truth comes out basically let's take a look That's going to be big. Uh, Saturday Night Live, this is going to be a big show. Host Kirsten Dunst, musical guest Eminem. Yeah. That's a big show. And congratulations uh, to you. You're on that cover of uh, oh, Entertainment Weekly thank you. this yes. week. Yes, things are going very well for you. <laughs> Tina Fey, everybody. Herman Bernson, coming up. We'll be right back. Stick around. Yeah.